Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be trying Good Dye Young hair care. I have been wanting to try this ever since I saw them launch it and I just haven't. It's been out of stock the few times I've tried to get it, so I haven't been able to get my hands on it, but I finally got my hands on it. So we're gonna try all their hair care products today. They have four different things. Before we get into trying this, I just wanna mention my eyeshadow palette is still available. It is so beautiful. I'm trying to like mention it because I guess a lot of people didn't know it was back in stock. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Goth vibes on the inside. We have rainbows, duo chromes, and then we also have a bunch of neutral shades here. And then at the bottom, there are two different highlighters. So this is my makeup palette. I also have a makeup bag. This is the front. Here is the back, it says Sad Ghouls Club, so I will leave a link to both of these in the description down below in case you wanna get your hands on them. Now let's move on to Good Dye Young Hair Care. So the first product in the line is the pre-wash. The directions say use before you shampoo, so you're supposed to wet the hair, work it in, rinse, and then it says feel purified, follow with color kind shampoo and conditioner. So all of the products are sulfate free. They're also vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. So we're gonna go in with the pre-wash and then we're gonna go in with the wash. We're gonna see how color kind it is. That's what it says on the front, it says color kind. So we're gonna see how well it does at not fading my hair because I have super, super, super dark like fuchsia berry back here and it bleeds like no other. So we're gonna see if this cuts down on any of the bleeding and if it preserves my hair color at all. So once we go in with the pre-wash, we're gonna go in with the wash. Then we go in with the rinse. And the last product we have is called Prime. This says on the back, prime those locks, used to cut down dry time, reduce frizz, and protect color against harsh UV rays and heat styling, infused with aloe leaf juice to promote silky and smooth hair, scented with neroli and citrus essential oils. Use on damp or dry hair, and then style as usual. By the way, I just have to say, this packaging is so sleek and sexy. Like, this is probably my favorite hair care line packaging I have ever seen. I just think it is so sleek and beautiful. And like just seeing this in my shower, like I just imagine like my goth bathroom, like seeing this packaging in there, absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's just so simple. I love the black and white. It's just screams like sexy. You know what I'm saying? My hair is very greasy. I've known I was gonna film this video. So I've purposely not washed my hair in a while so my hair is like very very greasy hence why i just literally slicked it back because i was like i can't deal with you today so we're gonna start with the pre-wash this retails for thirty dollars which is pretty expensive thirty dollars for pre-wash the shampoo is twenty six dollars the conditioner is also twenty six dollars and the prime is twenty eight so they are kind of pricey I personally don't have a coupon code with Good Dye Young, so um, I would not be saving any money purchasing these. I would be paying full price. I'm not sure if they do coupon codes with other affiliates. If I can find somebody's coupon code, um, I will link it in the description down below because obviously if you can save some money, save yourself some money, you know what I'm saying? But I personally don't have a coupon code, but I will try to find one and link it in the description down below along with all of these products. So let's go in with the pre-wash. Oh, let me open it. We're gonna smell. You guys know, one of my biggest determining factors on whether I will continue to use products is the scent. So if the scent is not it for me, then I probably would not gravitate towards this. So far, Ex Mondo holds number one in terms of like the shampoo I use when I'm not trying to fade my color and also the fragrance. Like that is my number one hair care line that I put at the top and I continuously reach for just because the smell, it makes your hair smell so good. So hopefully this smells really good so that way I love it and I actually use it. The pre-wash has a almost menthol-y it's very essential oils. It's giving very essential oils, very clean. Like this is exactly what I would imagine a scalp detox to smell like. It just smells like essential oils, kind of menthol-y and citrusy. On the back, it says grapefruit extract and gentle exfoliators, loosen product buildup, herbal extracts of thyme, rosemary, and witch hazel fortify the scalp, scented with mint, 
and grapefruit essential oils. So that is exactly what it smells like. It just smells like a bunch of herbs and I get heavy mint scent on this. So that's exactly what it smells like. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair and then we can go ahead and use the pre-wash. Okay, we are back. I'm not gonna brush it out. I'm just gonna go in and uh, really start exfoliating my scalp. Not really sure how much to use. So I'm just gonna use about this much. Let's feel it. Ooh, it's very, very thick and it does have little tiny exfoliants in it. So I'm gonna go in here at the top. Honestly, this is where like the majority of my product buildup is. It's like at the top of my head and around my hairline because that's where I use like the most hairspray and stuff. Honestly, I really like the smell. It's very therapeutic. It's not like a perfumey smell at all. It really does smell like a spa. And just the smell kind of gives you the feeling that like you're detoxifying and like cleaning. Okay, I feel like I've worked this in pretty good. I'm gonna go rinse this off and come back and we can follow up with the shampoo. All right, time for the shampoo. My hair does feel pretty dry after using that, especially the areas like up here where I really worked it in. Definitely feels dry. So hopefully the shampoo will make me feel moisturized. On the back of the wash, it says infused with the blend of coconut oil, olive oil, and hibiscus extracts, softening while gently cleansing color treated in all hair types with a modern self caring scent that includes five essential oils. And then it just says wet hair, work and rinse, feel cleansed, not stripped, follow with color kind conditioner. So I normally don't use sulfate free shampoo. I know that's like kind of shocking because normally I do have bright colored hair, but I personally do like to fade my hair color pretty quickly so that way I can move on to the next one. So most of the time I'm not wanting to like preserve my hair color. I'm wanting to fade it. So I just use normal shampoo. There are rare occasions where I'm trying to preserve a color. And in that instance, normally I use Ex Mondo because all his products are sulfate free. The only thing that I have an issue with with Ex Mondo shampoo poos is I feel like you do need to use a lot of product to get a good lather because it's sulfate free. So let's see if this smells good and also lathers a little bit easier. So right away, the shampoo is very, very thick. Ex Mondo shampoo is actually pretty thin and like runny. So that's another reason I feel like maybe I grab a little bit too much. This is very, very, very thick. It smells good. It, it, honestly, the fragrance is not that strong. It's kind of a light fragrance. Did I grab the wash? This feels like conditioner. It definitely does not feel like shampoo. I literally thought that I grabbed the wrong bottle for a second. Mm, it actually smells really, really good. I'm gonna go wet my hair and then like work it in real quick. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna spritz my hair with water to try and make it lather more. It's sulfate free. So I, I figured it would be a struggle to kind of get it to lather, but I wanna make sure that I'm like getting the cleanest I can possibly get because my hair is very dirty right now. So I went ahead and washed it and then rinsed everything out. And now I'm washing it a second time. I just feel like with sulfate free shampoos, you kind of need an initial cleanse, rinse it off and then cleanse a second time to really get that like clean and lather. So I went ahead and washed it once. I'm just trying to make sure my scalp gets clean. I do feel like I'm using a lot of product, but definitely, definitely shampoo twice with this. And I will say the shampoo is super, super, super soft and gentle. Like I said, it feels like conditioner when you're putting it on your hands. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then I'll be right back so we can try the conditioner. And I'm really excited about the conditioner because if the shampoo feels this soft and like buttery, I can't imagine how soft the conditioner is gonna feel. All right, let's go ahead and go in with the conditioner. And on the back, it says the same thing as the shampoo. It says infused with a blend of olive oil, shea butter, and hibiscus extract to gently soften color treated and all hair types. Sunflower seed oil helps to strengthen the hair and add shine while, I don't know how to pronounce this word, but I'll put it on screen, Largnine helps retain color with a modern self-caring scent that includes five essential oils. This says apply to clean wet hair, let's sit one to two minutes and then rinse. My hair actually does feel pretty dry after the shampoo. I was expecting my hair to feel really soft because of how like thick and soft the shampoo felt, but my hair does feel pretty dry. Um, I did shampoo it twice, so that could be why. Let's go in with a conditioner and see if this makes my hair feel any better. Ooh, okay, so it's a good medium conditioner consistency. It's not like super thick and it's not like super, super um, thin. It's a good medium 
conditioner. I'm gonna start at my ends. Ooh, the second this is touching my hair, it is definitely making my hair feel so, so soft and hydrated. So the shampoo and conditioner does smell completely different than the pre-wash. The shampoo and conditioner smells very, very similar to their hair dye, if not the exact same. Like the, it smells pretty much identical to their hair dye. So if you love the scent of Good Dye Young Hair Dye, this shampoo and conditioner would definitely be for you. I'm telling you right now, this conditioner is a 10 out of 10 for me, dude. I'm like putting it on my hair and my hands instantly are just gliding through my hair. You guys saw I haven't brushed my hair once through this process and my hands are just gliding through my hair. And I did not use very much conditioner at all and it's making my hair feel incredibly soft and silky. I'm gonna go rinse this and then we'll move on to the last product, which is the Prime. All right, we're back. When I rinsed that off, my hair feels so incredibly soft. I am so impressed by that conditioner. So for the Prime product, it says Prime those locks. Used to cut down on dry time, reduce frizz, and protect color against harsh UV rays and heat styling. Infused with aloe leaf juice to promote silky and smooth hair. Scented with neroli and citrus essential oils. Use on damp or dry hair and then style as desired. So you can use this on damp hair or dry hair. I think I'm gonna test it out. Let's see what the um, consistency feels like. If it's really oily, I'll probably put it on wet hair, but if it's like not, then I'll probably do it on dry. Okay, this smells completely different than the shampoo and conditioner. It's not my favorite. It's not bad at all. Like it's a nice scent, but it's just not my favorite scent. Kind of smells peppery to me. Like it has a peppery undertone to it, like a citrus and pepper. This is not oily at all. So I'm actually gonna apply it on damp hair and I will probably also apply it once my hair is dry. It does say it's supposed to cut down on dry time and help with frizz. So I think it's important to use on um, damp hair before we blow dry. You guys, look how, I mean, I don't even need to brush my hair. Like my hair is so soft right now. That conditioner is awesome. Let's go ahead, spray this. For me, when I'm using a hair care line, I prefer it if all the hair care items have the same scent. That's just a personal preference, but I personally like to stack the fragrance instead of using four products and three out of the four have different scents all of these fragrances do mesh well together so they're not going to like contradict each other or make your hair smell bad but for me personally i like all of my hair care to smell the same just to enhance that like fragrance in your hair so that way it sticks a little bit more and your hair be smelling good all day okay this is not making my hair feel soft or really feel like anything. It doesn't say it's a leave-in conditioner or anything like that, and it doesn't feel like one either. It's definitely not gonna make your hair feel super soft. It seems to be more for the frizz, blow dry time, and also the heat protectant. All right, it's worked in pretty good. I'm gonna blow dry my hair, and I'll be right back, and we will see if it cuts down on the blow dry time and the frizz. All right, just got done blow drying my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a couple spritz on it now that it's dry. Kind of work that in through my hair. Do I think it sped up the blow dry time? I don't. I felt like it was about the same as I normally would take when blow drying my hair. I do think it does a really good job at preserving my color. Honestly, the colors didn't really bleed into each other and I really didn't care. I was like shampooing everything all together and I don't feel like the colors bled on each other. I think it did a good job at preserving the color. So if you do have bright colored hair, I think this line would work amazing at preserving your color. My hair does feel super, super clean. I don't feel like my hair is super, super nourished and hydrated. I would definitely put an oil on top of my hair after using this. If you were just going to use these three products, I feel like you might need to add a couple more things into your hair care routine that's a little bit more moisturizing because I do feel like my hair is lacking a little bit of moisture. If you have very, very fine, thin hair, I think you would absolutely love this line. It will give you volume. All the products are very lightweight. It gives you a lot of bounce. I'm just used to a little bit heavier of products and I'm used to my hair feeling like silk. 
and my hair just feels a little bit dry right now. Let's go over the products and which ones I would suggest and which ones I don't think are worth the money. The pre-wash is a weekly treatment, so you will get more bang for your buck there because you're not gonna be using it every time you shampoo your hair. If you're fond of like scalp exfoliation and detox treatments, then I would say go for it. It is a little bit pricey, but it smells really nice and it does make your hair feel like you're getting clean. So I did like this. I personally don't do like scalp exfoliants, so it's not something that I would reach for often, but I do think it's good and it works and it smells nice and it makes your hair feel clean. So the shampoo, I'm gonna compare to my normal X Mondo shampoo because that's my normal go-to sulfate-free shampoo. Personally, I felt the shampoo was a little bit lackluster. I would skip out on the shampoo. I just personally don't think it's worth the price point. I prefer the X Mondo shampoo. I think it lathers a lot better than this one did. I also like the fragrance of X Mondo a little bit more and I'm pretty sure X Mondo is a little bit cheaper. And if it isn't, if they're the same price, it'll be cheaper after you use a coupon code. So I would skip the wash. I just think that there's other sulfate-free shampoos that do a better job and you're not using as much product as with this one. The conditioner is my absolute favorite sulfate-free conditioner I have ever tried. I like this a lot better than the X Mondo conditioner. The X Mondo conditioner is a little bit too lightweight. So this one is a little bit thicker and it makes your hair feel super silky the second you put it on your hair. This is the standout product to me in this whole line. If I could recommend one to you, I would get this conditioner. So I highly, highly, highly recommend and I do think it is worth the price point. You don't need a lot of product with this so it's going to last you a little bit longer. The shampoo you need a lot of product so that price point to me isn't worth it because you're going to be using a lot more product. The conditioner is a little bit expensive but like I said, you don't need a lot. It's gonna last you a while and it makes the hair feel amazing. The last product, the prime. Honestly, I feel like it's a little lackluster. It's not gonna make your hair feel super soft and conditioning. I don't think it helped with blow dry time, but I do think it helped with frizz. I get really, really bad flyaways from breakage and I do feel like it helped with frizz. And also you have the added heat protection in here. So just knowing that you have a heat protectant on your hair makes me feel better. Overall, I do like X Mondo hair care better. And I think there are a lot more options on the website that you can cater specifically to your hair needs. As of right now, these are the only four hair care products that Good Dye Young offers. So there's not a lot of variety or diversity, which a lot of brands do expand on eventually. But with X Mondo, it's similar price point, but you can really cater the products to what your hair needs. That is all for today's video. I will leave a link to these products in the description down below. I will also leave a link to X Mondo. If you guys have never tried his hair care and you're looking for a new hair care line, definitely check it out. He has amazing products and he has a plethora. So no matter what your hair care needs are, he probably will have something that will suit your hair. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.